Consequences of lying in a marriage. Reasons why you shouldn't lie to your spouse. Deception has never yielded positive outcomes, particularly within relationships. Regardless of their size, deceitful acts can devastate a relationship, eroding trust, understanding, and faith. The detrimental impact of lies on relationships is undeniable, with consequences that are unmistakably toxic. However, despite efforts to avoid it, partners may find themselves resorting to deceit. Presented below are some of the repercussions of dishonesty within a marriage. 1. Constant fear. Your partner will consistently harbor the fear of your potential deceit. Upon discovering a lie, your partner will start scrutinizing every statement you make, leading to increased doubt regarding your words and actions. 2. Selfish actions. By lying, you're prioritizing your self-interests, revealing a selfish aspect of your character. This behavior suggests a lack of genuine commitment to the marriage, which can make your partner feel unloved. 3. Respect. Lying within a marriage indicates a lack of sufficient respect for your partner. This absence of respect presents a significant issue in the marriage, as respect forms a crucial pillar of any relationship's foundation. 4. Unbalance. When falsehoods permeate a marriage, it becomes challenging for both partners to uphold equilibrium. Balance in a relationship entails trusting and comprehending each other while also considering individual preferences. 5. Covering up lies. In attempting to conceal a lie, you inevitably resort to telling numerous additional falsehoods, ultimately jeopardizing the integrity of a loyal and trustworthy marriage. This habit can result in both you and your partner becoming habitual liars, profoundly impacting both the relationship and individual personalities in a detrimental manner. Subsequently, the harm inflicted may become irreparable. These four signs suggest that you fear commitment. Why do you run away from commitment? For some individuals, embracing the notion of seriousness in a relationship can be challenging. Not everyone readily accepts the concept of commitment. Do you find yourself in this category? Scroll down to discover from these four signs whether you exhibit commitment-phobic tendencies or not. 1. You sabotage your own relationships. If you find yourself picking fights or creating conflict when everything seems to be going well, it indicates that you may be sabotaging your relationships. This behavior often stems from a fear of commitment. Feeling uneasy when experiencing happiness suggests a fear of the unknown and a discomfort with being content. These actions reflect a fear of commitment, where one feels overwhelmed by the sense of losing control. 2. No staunch reason why you don't want to commit. You may have two distinct reasons for not wanting to get married. Firstly, you might hold a set of ideals and not believe in the institution of marriage. Alternatively, you could be averse to commitment due to various factors. This aversion often stems from witnessing numerous breakups, experiencing a troubled relationship between your parents, or having your heart broken in the past. Sometimes, you may struggle to articulate the exact reason when asked, as there may not be a clear, logical explanation for your reluctance to enter a committed relationship. 3. You avoid sharing your feelings. Feeling uneasy when someone delves into your emotions and seeks to discuss your inner self. This discomfort may stem from a fear of commitment, where you resist forming emotional connections with others. Vulnerability isn't something you readily embrace, so when faced with such situations, you feel threatened, your defenses go up, and you instinctively withdraw. 4. You reject people based on silly things. Initially being attracted to someone but then rejecting them for trivial reasons, such as having a sharp nose, round toenails, or eating salads with mayo, indicates a fear of commitment. When you focus on superficial factors as a relationship progresses, it suggests an underlying aversion to committing to a deeper connection. Pros and Cons of Being in a Relationship If you're considering proposing this Valentine's Day or have recently experienced a breakup, here's something for you to ponder. Proceed with caution, as it might either uplift or sadden you. Presented below are the pros and cons of being in a relationship, which may mirror your current state of mind. Feel free to scroll down and share your thoughts in the comments section. Pros 
someone is always there for you. Having someone you can turn to for anything, to discuss your problems, holds significant value. This aspect stands out as the most compelling reason for being in a relationship. Reassurance. Frequently, we experience complexes when we're alone. Receiving words of reassurance from someone who isn't a parent or relative can be beneficial. It boosts self-esteem and fosters greater confidence within oneself. Learning about yourself. Regardless of how well you believe you understand yourself, spending time with another person and confiding in them often reveals aspects of yourself that were previously unknown. You may discover what brings you comfort, your level of patience, your need for personal space, and what makes you feel loved, among other things. Takes away the loneliness. During solitary moments, there arrives a point in everyone's life where feelings of loneliness may surface. You yearn to be part of a couple, like the ones you see on hikes, or the affectionate duos sharing conversations over hot coffees. You desire someone to call your own, especially during occasions like Valentine's Day when the world celebrates love. However, these feelings often dissipate when you're with someone. The presence of a partner provides a sense of security and triggers a comforting feeling, knowing you have someone to hold and confide in. Cons Constant reporting In many instances, partners may abruptly request your whereabouts, where are you? How long will you be? When will you be back? As a single individual, you typically aren't obligated to address such inquiries unless they come from a concerned parent. Planning When considering dining out at a restaurant or cafe within a relationship, the decision is no longer individual. It requires coordination and joint planning. For individuals who are dedicated to their work and seldom venture out, the added pressure of arranging outings with their partner can become a source of stress, as it becomes obligatory. It gets difficult to meet a single friend. As a single individual, you have the freedom to meet anyone you choose. However, in a relationship, particularly if your partner is insecure or jealous, meeting a friend of the opposite gender requires careful planning and consideration of reasons for the meeting. No more flirting. When you're in a relationship, you're generally expected to refrain from flirting and freely admiring others around you. If your profession entails interactions with attractive individuals, it's important to communicate this to your partner and ensure their understanding. Conversely, as a single individual, you typically have no such concerns. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.